Pisces, hey baby, what you doing? Happy, happy Pisces season, happy birthday to all my Pisces out there, y'all. Our season is winding down, but you already know here on planet Pisces, baby, it's always Pisces season. So come on up in here, come on in here, Pisces. Let's get a really quick message, all right? Um, I usually take Saturdays off, or <laughs> this is supposed to be my off day. But I felt like coming in and giving y'all a quick message. So come on in. Don't forget to like the video. And let's just see what message Spirit has for you, okay? All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for Pisces? Real, real quick. Just a quick check-in. Energy check-in. What's going on with Pisces? Oh, we got leadership. Come on. Nicki Minaj could be significant. Unicorns could be significant. Somebody that could be Roman. Okay. And then we have finesse with cash, doll. That's giving me like figuring out the system okay fig like unlocking a key or something like that okay finesse that's like that's like um you know what i'm saying working something like something working out for you like i don't know like based on the skill you have or something okay it's also something here about your attraction like you're attracting something your finesse okay go ahead then pisces we have truth on the bottom of the deck spirit what's pisces energy right now current energy for pisces okay we got one that want to come up okay dominance all right <laughs> you might like fancy beauty okay rihanna is out here okay come on and she is a pisces that's my birthday twin a couple of our birthday twins 220 in the house come on so you showing up in pisces power okay you might like leopard print or animal print clothes or something like that or that could just be significant someone could have light color eyes or something okay all right mm. it's something you're dominating in though you're dominating, you're finessing your way to something here. All right, we have confidence. I love this. Who is this gangsta boot? All right. Wow. Dominance and confidence. Okay. I love this energy. You're in Pisces. Tell me more. Death Row Records could be significant. I ain't no gangsta boot was on Death Row Records. I think that's what that say. I don't know. Is that death row? Y'all can't see it. Is that death row? I don't know, y'all. All right. And then spirituality. You could be a spirit. And another Pisces, y'all. We got Erica Badu. I think she's a March Pisces, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all could let me know in the comments, though. But Erica Badu with spirituality. Okay, so you could be um you could be a spiritualist, all right? You could be in a spiritual field, or you could just, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even gotta work in spirituality. You could just be, you know what I'm saying, tapped in. Tapped in, intuitive, the high priestess, okay? All right, so let's see what energies are coming your way in your current energy. What are you attracting towards yourself? Okay. What is Pisces attracting right now? Ten of Pentacles. Who am I talking to? And the Nine of Pentacles. What? Lots of stability. Lots of finesse in here. Okay? I love this. This is independence. This is wealth. This is abundance. And then on the bottom of this deck, you got the Ten of Cups. I love this for you, Pisces. All right. So what can they expect, Spirit? What energies are coming their way in their current energy? First of all, baby, you shining right now in your own energy, queen of cups, right? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but wow, you're showing up. I love that. Showing up, something about continue to show up, continue to show up, okay? Continue moving forward, continue being consistent, continue, go, go, go. That's what I'm hearing. Go, 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 okay? <laughs> Anything else to hear from this deck? What's coming towards Pisces? Another Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer could be significant. Show me more spirit. Somebody in the other realm is praying for you. What? <laughs> Some, I don't know. It's so about an angel. Especially if you've had like a, a young person, someone who was of young age pass away or somebody pass away really young or something. It's something about like an angel or something over you. Mermaids could be significant as well. 
siren okay i heard you might um be good at singing or something it's something about you attracting something with your words though you could be like uh scripting or um speaking things into existence real talk it's something about your words or something your confidence as well okay i heard i know who i am okay nobody could tell you different i love this energy bro Give me more spirit. The will of fortune. Okay, so you might. Okay. So think. Okay. The four of cups with the will of fortune is here. It's very much giving me like. Ready for a change. Ready for something new, right? Ready for. um. Y'all might be bold. Let's see what the four of cups is. What's the four of cups spirit? 44 could be significant. All right. All right. Y'all could have just ended a cycle in your life, like a major life cycle. And and you may be in a period, or this may be coming up, right? Because I asked for what's coming towards you. You may be in a period of where you're ready to see something different now, right? But you... Somebody ready to speed up. Like, come on, come on. I'm ready for the next thing. The next, the next good thing. Come on, come on, come on. But there's something about a transition period here, right? Okay, what's the Four of Cups? What's this processing? And while you're not even looking, it's like, I'm, I don't know who these angels are. <laughs> I don't know who these folks are. <laughs> they your folks, though. But they, it's like they're saying, like, they don't even realize what we're doing in the background. They don't even, you, you can't see it. Right? It's something they doing in the background here, okay? Okay? <laughs> All right, you could like snakes or something, okay? Snakes could be significant. If there is any lower level energies trying to get you down or or make you, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like put you in energy of just not motivated or something. It's like this snake is coming after Anubis, right? Like I'm going to bite you. Oh, that's giving me Jesus. Jesus, that's giving me uh Eve. When she, like, what they said, like, she put her foot on the head of the serpent or something. Like, it's giving, like, your angels are fighting some, you know what I'm saying? Like, helping you stay in a good high vibrational state, all right? Fighting off any attacks of the enemy, right? Whether that, whoever the enemy is, right? All right, tell me more. Show me more. What's coming towards Pisces, please, and their current energy? Come on now. 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 Karmic justice. Somebody here is finished a stage in their life. You've learned something in this stage. Okay. Some of y'all could even be tapping into astrology. Okay. All right. I heard ancient times as well. I don't know. Something about time. The space time continuum too. That's what I just heard. I don't know y'all. This is supposed to be a quick reading on spirits. So help me. Help me move on along. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, but justice, a Libra could be significant. All right, show me what else, spirit. Then the four of swords. This is definitely a rest and recuperation period, okay? So make sure right now you're getting your rest, you're listening to your body, you're increasing your water intake, especially if you're going through a spiritual ascension. All right, spirit loves water, okay? That's why, that's why we're their favorite. <laughs> Tell me more spirit. All right. It's something you're mastering though. This is the number 11 with justice. That's 11 is a master number. Something about your communication here as well. All right, any obstacles that we need to know about spirit coming in the very near future? The two of wands, okay. All right, let's get a little bit more though. The nine of pentacles and the king of swords. It's something here about your clarity of mind or something. Like, um, and the four of swords still on the bottom of the deck, bro. It's something about 
pinpoint as well like knowing where you want to go next right so we finished one phase of our of our life right we've closed out a chapter we've ended something right and um it's giving me like know where you want to go next okay know where how like where you want to go next okay the two of wands the king of swords the nine of pentacles Right. The two of wands is all about like looking towards the future, planning, preparing, things like that. Right. He's getting ready to leave the safety of his castle. But before he leaves out, he got to know where he want to go. Look, he's looking at the world. So it's like um, because this is this is a challenge. Right. It's the challenge position or the uh, a possible obstacle. All right. So there's something about planning for success pisces okay plan for success what do they say if you if you um <laughs> fail to plan you plan to fail okay all right so planning here all right anything else spirit with challenge or obstacles Eight of Wands. Okay. You got eight, nine, ten out here. I just heard, where do I begin? And then the eight, I mean, the Ace of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands for challenge? It's very, because this is forward movement. This is momentum, right? Okay, so make sure you, like I said, you're getting your rest. You're listening to your body. You're prepared for success here, okay? Because this, for this to be in a challenge position, forward movement, it's also something here about like downloads and things like that, right? Um, And clarity of mind, okay? Your clarity of mind clear direction all right so it's like like bow and arrow like shooting for the target or something like that okay we got okay we got the three of swords interesting for some of y'all y'all could have and this could be in a family um a family setting uh, or in, within your family or this could even deal with your finances okay all right for some of y'all y'all may be having difficulty um um moving forward from some previous heartbreak some sort of disappointment something even a painful truth that you could have recently you know what i'm saying heard or gotten or something like that heard the gotten. anyway <laughs> all right difficulty moving forward from a previous betrayal heartbreak what is this three of swords what happened here then we gotta wrap this up y'all what happened here what's the three of swords the four of pentacles for some of y'all it was a monetary loss or your money could be moving in kind of slow all right focus on the outcome you do want not on what's already occurred or what could occur in the, the, noah focus on what you want okay right where your attention goes your energy flows so if you're focused on if you're focused on this as above so below as within so without right so if this is what you're focused on and that's where your energy is going guess what you're going to perpetuate more events the universe is going to bring you more experiences that are going to affirm this that your attention is on okay i'm not saying forget about it no heal that shit you know what i'm saying deal with it don't sit in it though you know what i'm saying because this is like this is this the challenge moving forward from some painful situation that could have dealt with, with either a controlling individual or some sort of financial um stagnancy okay all right seven of pentacles be patient with yourself okay work through this challenge you got what you need you like you got what it takes pisces okay dominance confidence spirituality tap in with your spirit guys with these angels who are supporting you in the other realm okay let them know what you need okay all right 88 is very significant okay 888 
All right, so where is Pisces headed, spirit? All right, real quick, like. Ace of Wands, I love this new beginning, right? A passionate new beginning, a fun, exciting new beginning, new ideas, growth as well, right? You see the little things growing off of the, the wand, the stick? Anything else? Where is Pisces headed? The hangman. A new person. Your energy again, Pisces. Where is Pisces headed? Knight of Wands. Ooh. And Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. And the Ten of Cups on this side. I love this for you. This is exciting. You're entering into a very exciting time of your life. Let's see what this perspective is. This new perspective. What, what is this in regards to, so I feel like for the lot of y'all, okay, a lot of y'all is going to be this uh, new perspective on what happened here in the recent past or in the past that could have caused some sort of disappointment. Like you're looking at something in a new way, right? Uh, uh, I heard restored faith, okay? Question. Okay. 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 It's even something about more vibrancy coming towards you, all right? And somebody here is going to find a new way to do something at work to attract more finances to you or in your area of expertise to attract more finances for you. Also, get ready for a surge of energy, okay? Y'all see how I'm talking like, like, get ready for some, like, surge of energy to help you complete Whatever this is that you need to complete is going to be different for everyone, right? But for a lot of y'all, it's some sort of like new creation here. All right, somebody name can start with a T, a I, a L, okay? All right, a J as well, all right? Mm -hmm. Lots of growth here in your future, Pisces, okay? Lots of good times too. Just make sure you, you're paying attention to where your energy is going and what you are fo focused on, okay? All right? Ooh, somebody's going to have a lot of work to like um keep them busy okay all right make sure you're taking time to nurture yourself though okay all right okay because somebody here is about to be booked and busy all right anyway pisces i love y'all so much i hope you enjoyed your reading let me know your thoughts down below like the video share the channel and all that good shit i love you and i'll talk to you later bye y'all <laughs>